Right, so we have an old British Army kettle. Um, and it's rated for 55 amps at 28 volts. We've got almost exactly one ohm across the right two pins and two ohms across the left two pins. So there's two different elements in here with two different resistances. We've got a voltmeter across those two pins. We've got some jump leads down to a car battery here. This is only 12 volts and that should be enough um, <coughs> that we get a test and hopefully it won't get too hot. Um, we're not going to run this very long. We've got twenty one and a half degrees inside, a bit of water in there. So give it some contact and see what happens. So battery was twelve point eight, it's dropped to twelve point two. I've got eleven point three there. Um, so we're drawing power, specifically we're drawing about 15 amps. Now the clamp meter isn't terribly accurate but it should be within a few percent. Not really made any difference to temperature. But it's sucking a good old amount of power out of the battery. So current across this element at 24 volts would be in the region of 30 amps. It would be a bit higher than that at 28. With the engine running you'd expect an elevated voltage. Um, We've got a slight increase in temperature there. It's now 22. It was originally 21.5. 22.5.6. Very slightly in different places on the base of the unit. Just hit 23. So it's heating up, but currently it's heating up at about one third normal speed. I'm applying half voltage to one of two elements, although it is the bigger of the two. But I'm getting a result that suggests this is a perfectly healthy kettle. And if we run the numbers in our head, we're getting 16 amps, so you're getting about 32 amps with twice the voltage, thereabouts. Um, they're not always linear, but a resistive element should be pretty much linear. So 32 amps on a 1 amp element. The other element is twice the resistance, so it would be about 16 amps. That's then going to have a slightly higher voltage with the engine running. It's rated actually at 28 rather than the 24 you would expect. Um, so, yeah, ballpark numbers are about right. We're feeding it 12 volts. And... Yeah, I think we've got a, a healthy element there of the larger of the two. And the kettle's doing exactly what it should do, which is heating up. It never was, even under uh, you know 28 volts, it never was terribly quick as a kettle. But it is doing what it says on the tin. <laughs>